This is a Rex amplifier made in the USA. Um, my guess is it was made in like 1943. And the reason I say that is because on the back, it's a 4 tube amp. Um, it's got a 50L6GT, a 35Z5. And, oops, I can't remember the name of these other little guys. Um, I think they're 12AX7s um, right here. Um, shut up. And then, uh, yeah, it's got two inputs. This is hotter. This is a little uh, muddier, I guess. And you got your tone. Chicken, chicken knob fell off somewhere. It says four tube dual input made in the USA and it's probably the most responsive amp I've ever played in my life. Um, here's my other guess. It says 6143. I don't know if that means June 1st 1943 or what. May, June, yeah, June 1st 1943. Some other information. It says 28518 right there. And then here uh, it says 550 10. I don't know. I'm just posting this because I really would like to know what kind of amp this is besides saying Rex. Uh, it sounds great. I got it at a auction. My grand, or not my grandfather, my uncle used to play a violin through this and harmonica through this. And he's passed, I think, 15 years ago. Um, maybe 10, yeah. So, but this ampl amplifier is pretty old. It's got a little uh, 6 inch, inch speaker in it. I, I, th I reckon it's six inches. Yeah, it's about six inches. But uh, uh, you'll see, you'll hear it in a second, and it's gonna probably be a little crunchy because I got the proximity of the microphone so close. But uh, I'm gonna try to clean that up, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, tough crap. I just wanted everybody to take a look at it and listen to it, and it sounds great.
Roxanne. Handmade, USA. Most responsive amp I've ever played. If anyone knows anything about an amp like this, please write me. I'm dying to know.